Hi, my name is Mark Archer and I'm here to teach you the greatest sax riff of all time, which is Baker Street. To play Baker Street, I've got to teach you the palm key notes, the first palm key on the, the alto sax and the tenor sax, which is top D, one of the greatest notes on the sax, a real showstopper. To play this note, you hit it with the little ball and muscle of your left hand, like that. Okay, now the opposite of um, the low notes, you blow fast, think high, your obviously sure should be reasonably well developed now, um, so make sure that um, that when you play this note, you've got a good read in as well, a read that will vibrate freely. So top D, think it up. Now make sure the sax feels balanced. Make sure it doesn't feel like it's falling away. If it does fall, feel like it's falling away, just play with the crook a little bit, undo the crook and just moving a little bit one way or the other. So if God forbid you took the sling off, it would still, it would still, um, it would still play. Okay, so top D again. So that's top D, one of the greatest notes on the sax. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to learn Baker Street and we're going to practice rocking from D to C sharp. And that's top D to C sharp. So for Baker Street, you need top D, C sharp, B and A. Once you've got these four notes, it's just a question when you finish it on a B or an F sharp. rocking it into the C sharp and the B and the A. Keep the thumb firmly depressed at the back. It will want to come off, so kind of keep it pressed down. Okay, so that's top D into play. So we're going to bring top D into the C sharp. We're also going to, in a moment as well, bring the C to the B a bit later. So let's just do Baker Street first, because that's the glory tune, and that's the one that everyone will want you to play. Now, Baker Street was written by Jerry Rafferty, and he called it in a session. Musicians, they tried the guitar and it didn't work. A guy called Raph Ravencroft, who reckoned he just played a blues lick over the top of it, got paid £27. Track went on to international success. His £27 check bounced and is, was in, and is now framed in his solicitor's office. Um, so the moral of that story is whatever you want to take out of it. Not a good thing. Ravencroft said he would have blown it if he made all the money anyway, but um, who knows. But it's such an immortal, fantastic saxophone riff. Played it for, for 30 years of playing the sax. I listened to it in 78 over and over and over again, full six minute version. Fantastic bit of saxophone playing. So I'm gonna teach you the first part of the, the four part riff. Now each time you played it, you played it differently. We do it at Blount Sax Gigs, it goes down really well as you can imagine. Um, but I'm gonna show you just the first tranche of this. So if you put it on with the actual track, um, it would absolutely match up. So this is a good one to learn. So you go from top D to C sharp, to the B, to the A, to the B, to the C sharp, to the B. Now as you play the B to C sharp, you literally crush the finger on and off. As so you've got a slight twitch. And a fast vibrato at the end. Once you've got that sus, you do the full glissando, the gliss that I showed you on Careless Whisper. Okay, then the second one. Finishing on the F sharp. The third one is where we hold the A and wow wow a couple of times. And then the fourth one, nice and straight like the first one. The first one's, the fifth one's without the crush note. The sixth one. Seventh one. And the finale. And then each time there's a little tag. Which no one ever remembers that, and that just sort of slides into the vocal. So each time it starts on an F sharp or a D. Sometimes I got it right, sometimes I got it wrong. It doesn't really matter. Um, as long as you say you're hitting that top D and don't blow it too hard, kind of let the tune be graceful. It's a fantastic tune. Um, Four times it's playing the original tune. It's also uh, it also comes after one of the greatest guitar solos of all time as well. Uh, to, as the finale, absolutely fantastic tune. So that's Baker Street, I'll teach you the whole thing a little bit later. Take your time, learn it, get it under your fingers and show off with it. So you can see this at, um, you can see the, the charts for this at blyatsax.com, where my book is, Blyat Sax, a revolutionary approach to learning the saxophone. I really enjoy playing it. Like I say, it's one of the reasons that uh, millions of us around the world play the saxophone today. So enjoy it. <laughs>